hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how you can create app services on Azure and host it uh, I mean host your API or website whatever you want on Linux or Windows server okay and you can also connect it by using CICD pipeline so that it can be can go with the automatic deployment or we can see continuous integration continuous deployment so that means once ever you are going to just push your changes in the in the like git or your repos okay it will be deployed automatically so yeah, i will show you that and this like how you can connect the ci cd pipelines okay and before like moving to create uh, app services uh, you need to do like you, if you are not having an account on azure then please go ahead and you can create your account on portal or azure.com and you already have an account then you can simply go ahead and log in over there okay and for you if you are going to create a new account then uh, it will require a credit card for the verification purpose okay and nothing else okay so you can do that easily and before moving forward i would like to request you guys to subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet okay so now let's proceed for the demonstration as you can see i have logged in inside the microsoft azure and here these are the frequently used services what you can see and here it, this is the free service what you can use and other than that we have web services cost management sql databases resource groups and every, there are many more things here you can use so in this video i am mainly focused on free services and i will show you how you can host um, your website or application free of cost for always so you can see these services are 12 months free okay you can see windows virtual machine linux virtual machine manage disk blob storage files key vault so these things are also mostly used things here you can also have here like multiple databases like mysql postgresql sql server azure cosmo db so these are all are the very very frequently used services in the azure and if you want to use free services or we can say almost free services then you can scroll down and you will see here always free services so you can see azure app services this is always free but there is one condition that you will have only uh, for f1 plan you can see it is for uh, only for one month free but yeah if we are not going to use f1 plan so that means we will use the shared hosting then that will be completely free for always okay so you can see i have clicked on here the create web app and here you can see at I'm inside the create web app and here you can see it is automatically selected as, as free trial and here I will put the name of my resource group first okay so yeah here I clicked on create new and then added the resource group and I also added the name and you can see it should have the unique name okay that that means uh, test will not work here so I will choose something else for example test 007 it is also not available okay test web is also not available okay let me check something else test react is also not available okay text api is also not available okay let me put something else okay test api it is available okay let me also remove this api here okay and this is not available okay tests yeah this is available so yeah here we have multiple options you can see we can host a static web app docker from docker we can also host and we can also simply use the code so what i will do here i will check the code to publish it and i will select here sp.net core 3.1 which is the lts version you can choose according to your uh, requirement and here we are going to um, i'm going to select central india server okay and here i will keep everything same as you see free f1 shared infrastructure 1 gb memory okay and here again i will um, scroll down and there is nothing else remaining here i will now 
click on next deployment here and I'm here inside a deployment tab and I need not to do anything here just move forward by clicking on next on networking again here need not to do anything and just move forward in monitoring okay now it is loading the monitoring tab and here again we need not to do anything okay so again I will click on next to enter the tags and here I will add the tag uh, let me add it here as a test okay and here I will again now review and create I will click on it and you can see it is loading now okay and you will see all your selected configuration here okay and here I will click on create here to move forward and you can see here its estimate price is completely free right now you can see and here it is selected the runtime check and now uh, here we have the shared infrastructure that means your 1GB memory will be shared and all your resources will be shared with other I mean websites or web app services okay and now this we can also set up a later deployment like CICD pipeline we can set up like from like uh, github or azure devops and now we'll create click on create button here to move forward and create the app services so i have clicked on that now you can see initializing deployment and it each loading or processing internally right now okay let it keep running and we can click here on notification you can see we have 14,500 credit remaining and you can see deployment validation failed and we have this error here and which is saying that details underlying a period might be helpful template deployment this is not valid according to the validation procedure okay we can see the detail error here uh, it's saying the uh, uh, validation failed for a resource okay and it is saying not a uh, valid according to the validation procedure and you can see region has quota zero instance for your subscription that means this region has quota of zero instance that means we cannot create a free instance here in this region i mean in central india region we cannot create you can see you can see the detail here this region has yeah this one this region has quota of zero instance for your subscription okay that means we it is not it will not allow me to create a free app services here in central india okay so what we need to do we need to change it from central india to something else but yeah, i will choose any nearest location from india okay so uh, we can choose here um, linux first i will choose linux os not windows now i will choose let's see if central is uh, east asia i have selected here so yeah by default you can see it is selecting basic b1 but i want uh, completely free so i will choose 1 gb memory 60 minutes per day compute loading okay and i will select it and you can see here now it is showing free f1 okay and now yeah now i think everything seems fine and yeah mm -mm. now i will double check everything is okay mm and i will review and create i will click on that button review and create and here you can see we have the complete configuration for review here and once review will be done then we can again uh, like uh, let me check here oh yeah there is nothing here in the notification okay we can also check the activity log if you uh, want to see the detail or something okay but yeah, yeah we will not go there because otherwise it will be like discarded all the changes here what i have 
going to do so now I will click on create button to create a web app or we can say app services and you can see it is now initializing the component and now it is submitting and deployment in progress and now it has actually moved forward to create the free app services and it is almost created and we can see here uh, at place of no result it will show because currently a uh, deployment is in progress that's why uh, we are not able to show here I mean see here so just wait for few seconds okay and yeah you can see here now we can see ASP test B2EA and status is showing okay I will click on it to go inside this okay and here I have clicked on operation details to check all those like details okay and now I will uh, okay I will yeah you can see your deployment is complete as you saw that currently my server is not having anything okay so we can see you can click on manage deployment to move forward for a deployment so we can deploy by using like putting the code directly or we can also use the ci cd pipeline to deploy the code so now you can see here it has taken me to deployment center okay for managing the deployment and it is loading the settings for deployment okay now just to wait for this to complete mm -hmm. so basically you have to keep patience and when <laughs> I mean when you will be doing these things okay and now you can see it is asking me to select the code source from where I want to select it so I will click on here and I will choose uh, I can choose anything but uh, my code is currently on Azure repos not on github or bitbucket on local git so I will choose Azure repos here and from here it will automatically uh, load the organization because currently my Azure account is directly connected with, with Azure repos but when you will select git then it might means you might need to uh, enter your credential to allow or to provide access to load these projects so yeah you can see these are my projects so I will click on here my test project what I want to load here in my server or in app services and from here I will also choose my repository I have chosen the test repository here and I will choose the branch now I have selected master branch and now I will check I will click on save first to save the settings okay and now I will check the log wow, what's going on and yeah these are the TPS no that is not required okay okay it's now loading the settings now you can see setting up deployment successful and now you can see my your repo is, uh, is connected here okay currently no deployments found let me refresh it maybe or mm, mm, yeah let's wait for it to start the deployment so it will basically do automatically internally we need not to do anything we just need to connect it and everything will be done in the background by the uh, by the con I mean CI CD pipeline what we just connected here and yeah we can see here the detail of our server you can see it is operating system is linux it is having one apps currently and it is currently free trial and you can see here the cpu usage percentage ram usage percentage and data and everything you can see here okay and you can also see the activity log here okay it's currently nothing to display here we can assign the controls to uh, this uh, app service who can access or what are the access it can have okay and 
we can also see the tags here so you can see test tag what we had provided and you can you can see our apps so this is the main app what we just created um, and here you can see now it is also showing the data in graph and data out graph uh, okay and here i will uh, go to deployment center again to check the status okay and you can see it's loading the deployment settings here and here i will click on logs and you can see here now first bsts is pending and it is you can see synchronizing changes from bsts that means it is currently in the process okay it is deploying right now and second thing is it is building the project for deployment okay these two things are going on right now okay and you can see here this is the means okay and here this this is the main url with which we can access our website and, I, and we can also access that from by clicking on that browse and you can see here we are able to uh, see the website here which is working fine it is working perfect okay so this is the swagger page or index page of that our my i mean my api project okay let me run it by clicking on execute here okay and you can see it's working fine okay and now hmm, now let me go again here uh, let me go again here in the azure portal here okay and you can see uh, yeah, you can see the settings here okay and now we can again click on browse and yeah you can you're still able to access it very well so i hope you learned something new guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel